and other story was unlocked. Anywho, hello there, my name is Paul Sphinx, welcome to DSR, I'm on Sagmentes, we shall continue because chapter 6 was finished and I don't know where we are going with that. Anyway, footsteps echo through the cold, dark hallway. It was the sole sound that occupied the entire auditory landscape, nothing else could be heard. Oppressive silence and darkness. The owner of the footsteps had a candle in her hand, but it barely helped at all. The hallway was so narrow that two adults walking side by side would have likely bumped into each other. The light of the candlestick was no match for the darkness around it. A barely perceptible sigh interrupted the monotone of footsteps. Exasperated by the uselessness of the light, the woman momentarily considered getting rid of it altogether. She knew that more she, the more she advanced, the darker it got. Whatever lay at the heart of the tomb-like hallway was responsible for generating this all-encroaching darkness. As such, it was small wonder that the candlelight had so quickly outlived its usefulness. So you are kidding. The woman addressed her companion in a surprisingly careful tone. As the line passed away to her side, it illuminated the face of... What? What? Lisa, don't tell me you are on Nazi's side. Oh, okay. So I guess not. Kei Sakurai. She offered no further protest, taking her candlestick in her hands without any reward. Obviously, the action did nothing to improve the lighting condition of the corridor. Wait, you're actually... you really do collaborate with them? Why? Why, Lisa? Why did you do this to me? Anata, I have something to say to you. ここはあれから変わってませんかええ私もこの uh, Kay noted, raising the eyebrow. She brushed her up with a dry smile. <laughs> but you know what? After Lisa doing that for to us, to me, I think I will trust in church even less now. If it's possible. アイドリ秘境は本来の力を取り戻していく。おそらくその過程で残りの the deaths of hundreds of everyday people were substantially equal to the death of a single superhuman. Well, technically, he had all the souls in him, so that makes sense. Those who had not received enough of their master's favor were to be killed off and sacrificed. That would open a swastika. As a result, the vice commander subsued Zarathustra was meant to fill that role, to act as an executioner. The resurrection of supernatural war demons required an appropriate field of carnage to be enacted. Therefore, they needed an enemy. After all, one sided the massacre of the weak and fray could hardly be considered a true battlefield. Jinbo no knife, Kushiro Kaka no Daitai Nara. Masa ni tekenin to yukoto deska. 
に用によっては、我々の仲間割れを防ごうとする慈悲深い処置とも言えますね。一度聞きたかったことですが、なぜ皆は、それほどまでに彼のことを<笑>憎むのかって The woman looked down in silk mockery before turning to Kay. いろいろとしか言えないわ。私たちはおのおのに彼から耐え難い仕打ちを受けている。魔導の訓導を受けるにあたって、それまで培ってきた教授を砕かれたというのも多少はあるけど、もっと別に、個人的なことで、みんなメルクリウスにはやられているのよ。例えばベイン。彼は、望んだ相手と添い遂げることができないと言われたのお前の人生は奪われ続けるだけだろうそれはどういうさあでもベイ自身には思うところがあるみたいでねそれを崩したがっているこの間もいいところであなたが邪魔をしたんでしょああいうことが起きないよ<笑> In other words, that sort of thing happened to him frequently. If that was really true, it did sound as though he was cursed. And having others pointed out most likely made it worse, like pouring salt in the wound. Where are the other elephants born in that regard then? If that was the case. Fukushiro Kaka was the king of 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 the king. そういうこと。何にしても鼻持ちならない嫌な男よ。まるで、何度繰り返しても、私たちがそうとしかなり得ないと知っているような。だから、もしかして誰が脱落するのかってことも知っているかもしれない。あなたもあまりフラフラしていると、捨て駒にされて切られるわよ。それで She held herself every pose, then softened her tone. 結局何をしに来たのかしら私の心配じゃあないわよね。なら、もしかして。政策は無用です。ただ、私には私の理由があるので、あなたに同行する許可が欲しい。許可生産杯芸家が見当たらない。そこであなただ。狩猟代行補佐だ。次の筆線、私の動向を認めてほしい。返答は。Although the girl's words lacked the respect one or two displayed towards superior, the older woman did not appear to take offense, rather, she tilted her head as if to ponder them. She could guess her comrades' reasons, although whether or not she could accept them was another matter entirely, for the girl accompanying the woman on her task was. あなたは偽善者だ、バビロン。程度の低い気遣いならいらない。私がそんな子供に見えると。Yes. まあ、あなたがいくつになっても、私から見れば。And proportions? Tempted to finish her sentence with an affirmative word, the woman ultimately chose not to. In actuality, she probably wouldn't have cared. What matter was that the girl didn't get in the way? とりあえず、彼を起こすには一晩くらいかかるだろうから、今夜は戻って休みなさいな。それからレオン私と行動する間あなたに殺人を禁じます<笑> K was a bit taunted from having those old conditions added into the mix knowing this group they didn't give a damn about the pros and cons of game people she knew that much and besides ゲセませんね今からの我々はどれだけ殺すかという話になるのにええだから私の邪魔をするなということこちらの両場を荒らさないでほしいのよ。ああ、they really don't get。they really don't get the idea of how to open that those swastikas。they are really dumb。I mean。they basically go and。hunt everything that's moving and not look。for like the most powerful actually but just created one and very thin。ああ、they are dumb。次のスワスチカは。私と彼で開くから。あなたに分けてあげるものはないの。<笑>ついてくるのは自由だけど、横取りはしないでね。つまらない仲間割れはしたくないから。わかりました。
Okay, somewhat soothing, shut her eyes and nude it. So? Facing the woman's rest, sitting back, Kay attempted to say something, but. いや、何でも。わがままを聞いてくれて礼を言います。どういたしまして。ああ、それからついでに一ついいことを教えてあげるわ。あなたみたいな人にとって一番警戒しなくてはならない相手をマレリアとザミエル。この二人には気をつけな
so she truly was the most experienced on that kind of field. The rain hype from earlier was nothing more than an incorporeal illusion and between interfered with their world for more than a brief period. There was likely no way he would ever get involved in something this drifting until the swastikas were opened. So her so-called proposal did make sense anyway. Strengthening her discipline to fall in line with the rest of her comrades was not a bad call. Yes, it was. Still. <laughs> Kay knew what kind of person the witch in front of her was. Having this woman tamper with her body would be disgusting and above all else dangerous. But even so. <gasps> okay. I have no other choice, do I? There was nothing to be gained from defying her. Opposing such a logical suggestion would only worsen her own standing. Kay sighed and nodded. え、心配しなくても、無茶な強制はしないわよ。Okay, I don't like that rule already. どうしする。ただし、同胞による殺害と傷害の意図及び行為にさらされた場合を例外とすること。え、自殺する。ただし、本誓約はその類に含まれない。同意する。ただし、リザブレンナーの前に置いてのみ、例外とすること。受諾する。受諾する。受諾する。受諾する。受諾する。受諾する。受諾する。受諾する。受諾する。受諾する。受諾する。受諾する。受諾する。受諾する
Or so it seemed, but then she turned back around. What what? Okay, her dead one face at Russell Kainer Care. The witch Marlin cackled and proceeded to melt away into the shadows. What the hell was she talking about? Ridiculous. It just made her feel repulsed, irritated and pitiful. Like hell she'd want to see something like that. Beatrice. Something like what? Why do I have a bad feeling that might be something uh -uh. Rated at 18 Let alone darkness case stared out past the new darkness, mentoring that named herself. Say what? <laughs> Lisa Brenner's lips curled to a bitter smile as she recalled the words of a girl only a fifth of her age. Indeed, it was just as she had said. She was a hypocrite. She spoke and acted like someone of good faith on the surface, but deep down she was nothing more than a heretic. The girl knew it well. It was like Lisa had been acting in front of her. But it was also true that there was little meaning to words of virtue not backed by action. After all, she was about to stake herself deep with immort immorality this very moment. What? Her vision was that of pure darkness. She had no clue how much she'd walked ever since parting with the girl, but it probably hadn't been that much. Her sense of distance had lost all the meaning, and the several dozen meter long labyrinth hallway felt a thousand times longer. Lisa breathed a small sigh as she left herself touching a metal door. Okay, that sounded kind of English, but not really. So dumb. That had likely been the spell to unlock the door, for it opened with a solemn sound. So else I sound actually. Uh, this pr the, the putrid stench of rot inside stuck her in her nose. It was so vicious it felt as though it had merged with the surrounding darkness itself, becoming an integral part of this place. It was hardly surprising, the last time anyone had been there was 11 years ago, and not once had this entry been unlocked since then. So it should be rusty. Lisa suddenly stood in the center of the room, then spread her arms and shut her eyes, making her look like a sacrifice being offered to an at an altar, sorry. Sir? Hey, I have bad feeling about that. And with those words aimed at no one, the darkness around her began to squirm in concert. Funny that she's speaking Japanese, it's written in German and also translated into English. And that very moment she could feel the presence of something condensing and taking shape. The oppressive density around her materialized, taking on wave flesh and the shape of a human. Something sister that had been confined in the deepest darkness. Its dark, thick, giant arms reached out towards the nun's back. Oh come on, Lisa! I liked you! Ah. And with a groan that sounded like it came from the bowels of the earth itself, the thing's giant arms wrapped tightly around the nun. I know what happened there, okay? I do realize what happened there. Lisa, why? I liked you! God damn it! In the end, it looked like I had been refusing to say that had been inconvenient for me yet again. まあ、お前の悪い癖だわな。人を見る目なんかねえんだから、もっと世の中疑ってかかれよ。この時期、街で見かけた予想者なんか怪しすぎるぜ。それも外人。どう見ても会うとだろうが。I know come back to Shiro's teasing. I completely failed to realize who Valeria Trifatrulli was, nor the implications of that revelation. Shiro seemed to have traded words with that priest as well. Judging from everything I'd heard from him, it happened the same night I first encountered with home. なんかこう、できすぎてるよな。俺とお前、あの時ほぼ同時刻にやられてたんだぜ。それで、We both went through the same experience! 
That fight in the park was a total defeat on my end, no matter how one decided to spend it. For I made it out of there alive, it felt more like they let me live. We were still too weak, a pair of losers who had no choice but to run away so we could live to find another day. Then describe us perfectly right now. I passed out just as I could back to this club, and when I woke up I found that I'd been sleeping for a whole day. You couldn't get more pathetic than that. Yes, it could. I'd recovered physically thanks to the rest, but the metal scars left behind wouldn't fade so easily. Sure was talking shit as always, but I didn't feel like picking a fight. I had no time for crap like that. Kasumi. Huh? Kasumi o dou ni ka shinai to yabai. Otto ita ra aizu. Ashita wa gakkou ni ichiman. I planned to get rid of Osaka and Sakurai by the end of the weekend, but in the end I failed to beat either of them. Eh, uh, well, yeah. Now that our battle had begun for real, school was too dangerous. A fight would likely break out if I went there, but I could not guarantee Kasumi's safety if I escaped it. In that case, tonight was my last chance to. ラチって事が片付くまで監禁か？いいぜ別にうちのモンラにやらせても。No no 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 no. Okay no no no. でもよ。I don't trust them. いいな。わかってる。he wanted to tell me that I should go and tell Kasumi everything even if we didn't force her into hiding, but it was out of the question. あいつになんて説明すりゃいいかわかんねえよ。それにお前とも合わせたくない。なんで？自分の胸に聞いてみろよ。とにかくそういうことだから。ああはいはい。なんか一歩通行な友情だなおい。俺の人脈当てにしとい
<笑>マジ例えばこうどんな感じで She's killing it. お前少し黙れ Why did conversation turn so incomprehensible? Mary sighed, this is your head, not even the slightest hint of urgency. Mary, let me talk to you, but I'm going to talk to you. Just a little bit. I just wish she'd choose her words more carefully, but telling her that wouldn't do any good. Anyway, if I didn't let her talk to anyone, she would be forced to be a little more than an ornament in the room, but letting her speak was just asking for trouble. Seriously, this whole situation was bad on my heart. I wanted her to become used to our world little by little, so I tried to keep her formed as much as I could, but... Well, oddly enough, constantly maintaining her physical body wasn't anywhere as tiring as I thought. I had no clue if it was just that easy or if Mari was the special case. In the end, having found myself at a loss as to how I should have expressed all that, I pat Mari on the head with a troubled smile. Anyway... Shiro. This weirdo was just a purely bad influence, but he also had a talent for expanding others' horizons. I had no idea what he was thinking, but maybe it wouldn't be so bad for Mark to know even a guy like him. Or maybe he was acting so precise because he knew. Sure was suddenly fine with his own eyes, he knew exactly what kind of being Mari was. And if we continue to show interest in her regardless, Hmm. As I glared up at him from the sofa, she sounded a meaningful laugh. Okay, it's a bit of 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 a at first she was bewildered, but... She whistled, then took Mari's hand and lifted her to her feet. Okay. He had probably forgotten the first topic. After wrapping his arm around Mari's shoulder, he started to thank you all for another room. Is he really gonna be okay? I mean, she. Ah, Moshitsukena! Ichichi, what is this? This Harim is here! Kasumi is here to take you here. You can't take him to the house. Ah? Sure turned around and waited to the room's monitor with his thumb. Aitsu wa ima, PC ni kakomarete iroiro gacha gacha yatte ru yo. Moto moto sochi kei ga senmon da kara na. Yaru koto nai nara, omae aitsu no toko itte ro yo. Jouhou shushu wa daiji da shi, kekko yaku ni tatsu hazu da ze. Tada shi, tei dasu na yo. Ari wa ore no da kara. Ano na. Had to fulfill his stupidity quota, huh? Nja shibaraku, yome no koukan te yu koto de. Sure, ignored my expression, gave me a smile, then opened the door and went through it with Mari. But just before the spring new corridor, he suddenly stopped and spoke up. His back still turned to me. Ah, then. Huh? Kasumi o tsurete kuru no wa betsu ni. Omae ni tochi wa kyodai mitai na mon da shi yo. Hoka no renchu ga dou naro ga. あいつだけはって、そういう気持ち、共感はできるが理解はできる。けどお前、ヒムロ先輩はどうすんだよ。My heart began to race at that name. はい。捨てちまうか？別にいいぜ。俺にとっちゃどうでもいい。ただ言ったよな。お前人を見る目ねえんだから、よく考えろってよ。I couldn't just ignore things I felt were inconvenient to me and more. There wasn't a shred of proof to be found in neatly beautiful clothes or ra rather delusions. I knew that. He didn't need to remind me. Shiro! 
Sure then, wait for me to finish shutting the door. His footsteps along with Mari soon grew faint. He was completely right. I wasn't good at reading people. I was fixed on maintaining the status quo and the notice changes around me. That was why she, Casme and Humor were deviating from the relationships I wanted to have with them. But even so, after all was said and done, the times we had shared were no illusions or lies, right? For I'd abandoned false hopes, I didn't feel like denying our past too. Whatever Humor was, she was still my. <coughs> hey, I punched the wall, causing a part of it collapse. Before that would have broken my fist. Now for I felt practically no pain at all. I didn't regret gaining this body, but still deep down a small part of me wished to feel pain. Okay. <laughs> Anywho. Cool. But we are ending the episode here, okay? I'm sorry, I had to cut it shorter because I'm pre-recording and I need stuff to have to to upload daily. Kind of. And well, with the schedule as busy as it was and me being lazy as I were over the nights, I did not record enough content, so that might be problematic for me. Hopefully. Okay, now I have content for today and the next day, so that should be fine. And if I record now, okay. Alright, uh, I still, still don't have the schedule for the July, but. Maybe it will be alright. Alright, for now, hope you enjoyed this episode. And we will talk with Ellie tomorrow, basically. Because that's when the episode will be released. So yeah, basically in the next episode, right? Which will be uploaded tomorrow. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. See you then. Bye-bye.